Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have to share with you today a retail candle and wax haul. So about 99% of this is Walmart and I just got a couple things at Rite Aid. So I'm going to start with the candles. They were all purchased at Walmart. The first candle I bought is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This is from um, 719 Walnut Avenue. That is the lid. Um, and it's in the scent Pumpkin Waffles. These candles do have scent notes that says deliciously decadent pumpkin waffles are topped with rich maple syrup and a touch of brown sugar. So it has this nice orange wax, three wicks, and this smells really good. I really, really enjoy this scent. I'm told it's a dupe for Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles. I can't attest to that because I have never had that candle. But um, just it's really, really good. Um, at least from what I smell now, I had last year's virgin version. Um, but honestly, I can't really say anything to it because my cat knocked over the, um, I had it on like this corner baker's wrap type thing. It wasn't very sturdy and the cat knocked it over and broke it while it was on its first burn. So I couldn't really like attest to how good it is, how good of a candle it is. Anywho, the next candle I picked up um, was the Mainstays Pumpkin Frosting. Um, these don't have any scent notes or anything with the acrylic lid, three wicks, and um, <clears throat> I don't know, I picked these up because um, they're cheap, first of all. They're only $3.33. $3 and I know they're probably not going to throw very strongly. But I wanted to try it because I was watching um, Angela on in um, My Close Smell Like Candles. And she was raving at how well these scents were doing in her home. So I picked it up. And um, we'll see how it goes. This pumpkin frosting, I'm getting a very light like a sweet buttercream. I don't know if I can necessarily call it pumpkin, but it does smell like frosting. <clears throat> the next one I picked up was the maple buttercream. I kind of wish I didn't get this one and I got the praline cheesecake. I had them both in my cart and I guess I must have put one back. Because I assumed that I had the praline cheesecake. So this maple buttercream. You do get the maple. I get, I'm get. i getting like a slight spiciness to it. Like it has some type of spice in there. I'm not sure exactly what. And um. Maybe some type of creaminess. I'm not sure. Um, that one's a hard one to, uh, kind of gauge right now since it's so light. But when I rub the can, I tend to rub on top of the wax just to apply some heat to the fragrance oils and you can usually smell it a little better. I smell the maple, more like maple pancakes rather than buttercream. So we'll see how this one does. Um... Again, I don't expect very much for such um, cheap candles, but you never know. So I picked up French Toast, and this is a repurchase. I burned this one last year, and I loved it. And this smells like French Toast without syrup. Oh, I really, really enjoyed this and I'm hoping this candle burns as well as the one I had last year did 
and you'll see the reviews on those in my uh, burnt, burned, what I burned, melted box, empties, whatever. Okay, so these two wax melts I picked up are actually from Rite Aid. These are the Hannah's um, clams. This is what they look like in the back. These were in their 50% off section, which they usually do um, which, uh, with every season. So this first one is pumpkin brulee. I think these retail for $2.99. So that's what it looks like. If you see, there's some like weird bubbly texture going on. It's not sweat. It's dry, but I don't know. Kind of weird. Almost looks like the sugar when you get a, um, like a creme brulee. And this, I do get like a spicy vanilla, um, Not necessarily pumpkin. The pumpkin spice that goes into like a pumpkin pie or whatever is what I'm picking up. And like a vanilla scent. We'll see how these melt. Um, I haven't melted a lot of Hannah's, but what I have melted has been pretty good. And the next one I got is spiced peach. I have never smelled anything like this and it is really really good it smells like peach rings with with a something it's like a je ne sais quoi it's like I, I don't know something in there that's kind of kicking it up a notch it's not a hot spice like maybe like a hot like a, a hot tea, peach tea. I'm not sure, but I really, really enjoy that one. Oops. I'm trying to reach with my small arms. And the rest I got are the Walmart wax melts um, from Better Homes and Gardens. I think a few sensationals, I'm not sure. Um, one... One sensational. <laughs> they just, I don't know. Sensationals just has not been releasing very much this um, this year. So I picked up one of the caramel apple spice. It says treat yourself, and that picture is so cute. So normally, when you get a caramel apple, they tend to use um, the green apples, but I guess this one they use the red. And this smells amazing. I love it because I actually smell apple. Not hot, spicy apple. It's just like crisp, juicy apple. And you get the caramel. Uh, creamy caramel. Kind of like a Werther's. Chewy. I'm excited to melt this. Um, caramel apple spice. It's more like just caramel apple to me. I don't smell any spice in that. Okay, the next one I picked up two of is this v Spiced Vanilla Embers. <laughs> Look at the color of that wax. It's like a burnt orange. On the camera, it looks a little brighter than it actually is. It's a little darker um, orange. As soon as you open this, you get that smokiness, and I love it. I think I can totally pass on any Marshmallow Fireside as long as I have this. I love Marshmallow Fireside. And this makes me just as happy. Oh my gosh. I might have to get like a whole bunch more. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. When I first started melting wax, I was so afraid to get anything with like Fireside, Campfire anything but I have really found my love for it um, I'm really really enjoying this and I can't wait to melt it to see how it goes uh, 
Um, I picked up a crisp fall leaves because for some reason my Walmart had this marked down to, it was either 25 cents or 50 cents. I think it was 50 cents. And even if I don't really like it that much, I couldn't pass it up. I did not like this last year for some reason. I can, I can kind of roll with it this year. I don't know what's up with the wax, so. It doesn't usually do this, but this, this clam is a little dimpled. Anyways, it smells really good. It smells like crunchy leaves. It's, I don't know. It goes to show how your nose changes. Last year when I smelt it, oh, what's happening here? Hello. Here we go. I'm just kind of standing here doing my thing and not even looking at the camera to see if it's like working. Let's see. It autofocus. There we go. So, yes, I got the leaves because it was marked down to like 25 cents. The next one I picked up, I got two. Because for some reason, I, I just keep stocking up on this, is the Vanilla Cookie Crunch. And I do have some other claims of this as well. Um, the reason I got two is because my Walmart just has the small clams for 50 cents. And every now and then, you'll find like one or two. It's usually empty. And I really, really like Vanilla Cookie Crunch. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have tried that one. <clears throat> one, two, three. The next one I got three of is the Farm Apple Pumpkin. I've seen a lot of people picking this up, but I haven't seen anyone say what they paid for it because these in my Walmart are marked down to 25 cents. Like, hey, why not? So every time I find one, they had a whole, I was going to get the whole sleeve. And my hoarder self was like, do it, do it, do it. And then my logic kicked in and said, do I really need that much? No, and I didn't get it. But then I'm like, well, it's only 25 cents. I can get at like eight for the price of one clam. And I ended up just getting three to actually save money. But now I'm kicking myself because I really, really, really love this scent. It's nice, a fruity, apple pumpkin-y. I don't know what it's about it. It smells kind of like a cider. But not a hot cider. Not a spicy cider. I don't know. It's yummy. So now I'm kicking myself because I can't find any more in my Walmart. They're all gone. I'll live. Just, I'll live, okay? Let me just keep telling myself that. <laughs> it's so good, I'm gonna die. Okay, all right, a couple more, a few more. One, two, three, four, five more. <laughs> the next one I got is chilled pomegranate wine because wine is life. And this smells really good, y'all. Mm. A nice dark red fruity wine. Almost like a sangria. That's kind of what I'm picking up and it might be because of the pomegranate. Oh, this smells delicious, and it's kind of like juice. Adult juice. <laughs> Guys, I picked up one of the Apple Cookie Crunch because it smells good, obviously. All of the ones I picked up because they smell good. I don't buy wax that I don't like just to show you. Because what's the point of that? Mmm. This is like a vanilla cookie crunch and apple pie put them together and this is their little scent baby that they have mm, I really really like this it's not a spicy like apple turnover type oh wait I'm smelling the bottom now and I am getting a tad bit of spice um kind of like what you get like the um little bit of cinnamoniness you get in the pumpkin pie gravy jelly inside but not the chunks you know that that's what I get along with like the vanilla cookie crunch 
and crispy like pie crust. That's mm, I can't wait to melt that one too. I've been dying to break into these because the weather here has been very true to fall. Today is um when I woke up it was like 57 degrees and it's pouring rain and it's going to be pouring like until tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. So I wanted to melt like really really fall esque wax. And um that's why I'm filming this right now because I want to break into these. <laughs> so we have the caramel bread pudding. This one is a little light, but I do get the carameliness of it. Is that a word? It's like um and this is, I didn't buy all of this at one point. This is like throughout the month of September. I get caramel. This, to me, this smells like those chewy caramel cubes that, you know, you get in your candy bag or wherever. I actually have a candy dish full of them because I love caramels. And the last but not least, I would say this is one of my new favorites. Is the pumpkin marshmallow topping and I got one two and three of these and this is like ooey gooey marshmallowy something it's not like a um like a fluff oh yeah well it could be like a fluff with the pumpkin in it and it's not a spicy pumpkin. It's not pumpkin spice. This is like straight up pumpkin. Like pumpkin puree out of the can. Kind of whipped up with some ooey gooey cream and, and marshmallow. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God, it's so decadent. And um, I'm excited to have that one too. So you guys, that is my Walmart's slash a couple things from Rite Aid Hall. I hope you uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I do like to have giveaways when um, I see a jump in subscribers. Um, so when I hit, hit milestones or whatnot, but that's not why we're here. We're here because we love the wax and the candles. Um, so yeah, guys, comment below and tell me which are your favorites from um, Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals fall releases for this year. I know a lot of us have been kind of going back to our um, last year's fall wax because, to be honest, I feel like this year... Um, Butter Homes and Gardens and Sensationals just they were kind of meh. They were it's very anticlimactic. I was so excited to see what they were gonna come out with this year. Like last fall, I went nuts. Like I loved this, I loved that, I loved everything. And there were a few more um things that they had released, but they were just mediocre. Like the um the pumpkin s'mores latte was, uh, I didn't smell pumpkin s'mores or latte in that. It was just a light, weird, almost body odor type scent. Um, the blackberry bourbon was like, eh. I don't know. I was just, I wasn't really feeling everything. Um, and we did kind of go back to last year's. I was excited to go in the store and smell the, oh God, which is it? It's like, it was, um, like cinnamon sugar pecans or something like that. Cinnamon dusted pecans. And I smelled it and it was just cinnamon. I was really looking for the nuttiness of that pecan. And the one that my Walmart doesn't have was the one that I really, really, really wanted to try was the pumpkin sugar cronuts. Can't find it. I don't think my store is going to get it because they haven't gotten it yet. 
I've been in multiple times kind of looking for it and it just hasn't been there. So, um, if you see it and you want to send me some, let me know. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!